Motorhead are rock's most stubborn survivors. Formed in 1975, they were once one of Britain's biggest bands. Renowned for being amongst the heaviest drinking, drug-fueled womanizers in the business, Motorhead made the Guinness Book of Records as the loudest band ever. In the early 80s, they blasted their way to the top of the charts with Ace of Spades. Almost 30 years on, Motorhead are still on the road, still playing loud and fast, and still as controversial as they've always been. Whatever. Fuck you, you know, politics. Fuck you, the new age. You know, fuck all of you. Motorhead are off on yet another UK tour. Glad to be leaving you, because it smells of shit. We never want to play you again. Yeah. Playing the same music, wearing the same clothes and living rock and roll life to the full, can a band really survive without changing? Motorhead's lead singer Lemmy is one of rock's legends. He's now 57, only a few years away from getting a bus pass. Lemmy moved to LA 15 years ago. He now lives off Sunset Boulevard in an apartment crammed with motorhead icons and an obsessive collection of Nazi memorabilia. He still gets through a bottle of bourbon a day and shows no sign of slowing down. Why do you think motorhead's been around for so long? Because we didn't give up, you know, that's the basic thing of, like, surviving, not giving up, right? That's the only reason, you know, it isn't through, uh, you know, huge record success or anything like that, you know, because it's a long time since we had that. I just think we're a good enough band to survive. We, I think you deserve us. <laughs> Buy in bulk, that's my advice. How much do you drink a day? Oh, quite a bit. I must be the most drunk diabetic in the world. <laughs> Good evening! We're a motorhead, all right? And we play rock and roll. This will be Motorhead's 28th year of touring. Most 80s metal bands have disappeared without trace, but Lemmy, the only one left from the original lineup, has kept Motorhead going for almost 30 years. Motorhead is Lemmy, and Lemmy is Motorhead. Well, we're just rebelling for its own sake, you know, without any discernible goal, like, you know, which is what rock and roll started out as, you know, just like complaining and shouting and cursing and kicking and screaming, you know, basically, with no, not linked to any kind of politics, you know, because politics is the anathema of rock and roll, you know, it's the, the most opposite thing you could find. Uh, I mean, it's anarchy, if you like, if it's got any politics, that's what it is. The 2003 tour is a sellout, but it's more Wolverhampton Civic Hall than Wembley Stadium. Motorhead are off to places like Norwich Student Union and Portsmouth Guildhall, ending up in Hammersmith for the biggest gig of the tour. Eleven towns in 13 days, a bunch of ageing rock stars living and sleeping on the same bus. I never tried not doing it. You know, not for 40 years or so. I don't remember what it's like not being in Motorhead, actually. I mean, I know intellectually that I wasn't in Motorhead once, but I don't remember what it felt like. Yeah. 
The guitarist Phil Campbell first met Lemmy when Phil was a 12-year-old fan. Excellent guitar player. He's a great guy. I mean, I know him so well. I mean, I've seen more of him than his family have, you know, for the past 19 years. You've been with me 19 years, you know. This is a long time. How old are you? 24. See what I mean? <laughs> when you were five, you was playing with me, right? <laughs> it's a long time. The drummer, Mickey D, is the newcomer. At the age of 40, he's only been with the band 11 years. Mickey D is a complete egomaniac, which is great because he's in the right business for it, you know. And uh, he's the best drummer I've ever played with, and I've played with a few. Motorhead have always chosen to be a live working band, spending seven months on the road and two months recording every year. Do you ever get tired? Yeah. <laughs> so how do you keep going? Uh, you know, dogged idiocy, you know, like... Let's face it, I'm not qualified for anything else. I'm not suddenly going to quit and be a brain surgeon, do you know what I mean? And I, I, I want to keep it going, you know, that's it. I love what I'm doing. I'm lucky I got to do a job that I like, you know. Most people get to do a job they hate every day, you know. And if you like it too, it's a bonus. But I'm not doing it for you, I'm doing it for me, you know. Complete selfish, freaking, you know, hedonist son of a bitch, that's me. Hello and welcome to another edition of Book at Bedtime. I don't seem to have a book, but I'm sure I'll get one because it's bedtime. Good night. Don't let the fucking bed bugs bite. What? Madam, how dare you? Night, Lemmy. Good night, dear. 30 years on the road and still every inch a rock god, right down to his tight black pants. By Wolverhampton Civic Hall, Motorhead are absolutely rocking. Motorhead were the first band who could lay claim to being popular with both punk and hard rock audiences. They were only at the top for a brief period in the early 80s, but Lemmy's total commitment to the music and lifestyle has never waned. It's just a great band, you know. And a good rock and roll band is really hard to find, actually. I mean, there's a lot of people who say they're rock and roll. I mean, they say fucking Britney Spears is rock these days. Um, let me assure you, and I speak from a wealth of experience, she isn't. And she's putting on a bit of weight now, have you noticed that? For a porky little fucker. Probably isn't, probably isn't getting laid much anymore, just lying around eating chocolates and watching TV all day, you know. Hoping for Justin to call, you know. I don't think he's going to. Do you like your women slim? Yeah, who likes fat women? Some blokes. Yeah, I know they do, don't they? I've, I've never been able to figure that out. Over the years, Motorhead have produced over 20 albums, but they've fallen out with countless record companies, stubbornly refusing to change anything about themselves or their music. I think that's what people like about us more than the music, is the attitude, yeah. Because we never... We never gave up anything, you know. We never let them do anything to us. We never said, OK, yes, sir, you know. We never did that. We always said, fuck you. You know, I'm still saying it today, which is why we're so broke, you know? <laughs> True to their lawless attitude, the band are famous for spending as fast as they earn. Who said it was money that keeps the band going? 